morning and welcome back to Morning Market from True Potential, Paul Durham's Investment Director. If we start by looking at equity market returns on Friday, we saw some more weakness uh, with sentiment slightly moderating on the back of a similar theme that we saw throughout the week where, uh, int- where investors had readjusted their expectations for interest rate hikes in uh, 2022 from the US. To give some context around that, if we went back to October, November uh, last year, investors were expecting two interest rate hikes in, for this year. That's been slowly gradu- uh, slowly increasing to five. Uh, and as such, that's had an impact on financial assets, specifically uh, those within the US and, and technology companies being the most sensitive to those movements. So that weakness has kind of rippled across global equities in general on Friday. Um, so slightly more challenged environment. Also adding to the, the, the volatility was the pace of earnings growth where we've come from exceptionally high levels last year and the level of earnings growth has slightly moderated uh, and expectations has fallen uh, for, for this year. But we'll get more colour on that this week and I'll come on to that in just a moment. In terms of the week ahead, we'll hear from the US Central Bank, the Federal Reserve, quite timely given the uh, movements in markets that we saw last week, where the Federal Reserve will look to discuss interest rates, their expectations this year and in future years, uh, and just the pace of how far, and and the extent to how far they'll increase interest rates given the strength of economic growth, the strength of the labour market and the inflationary backdrop that we're in today. Also important will be uh, any comments around their their balance sheet. Their balance sheet has increased to 9 trillion, which is an exceptional size. And the market's expecting them to slightly moderate the, the size of their balance sheet this year. So any colour around that will be important for uh, financial markets uh, going forward. Also this week, we'll hear from different companies about their earnings that they've been able to deliver in Q4 last year. So we'll hear from IBM, Apple. uh, We'll also hear from Visa and Tesla. So that'll be uh, something that the market will be focusing on given that we get an insight to the level of consumer spending, the impact of inflation, wages, and their general expectations going forward for earnings. We'll also get UK PMI data. So this is a, uh, a survey that's done for, on businesses each month. It's widely used because it's uh, very timely and it's a leading economic indicator where we can look at how businesses are doing in terms of the level of inventories that they have, whether they're seeing improvements in supply chains, uh, how prices are evolving, and their overall assessment of business conditions. So a lot of attention is focused on, on these surveys so we'll get survey readings from the UK and from Europe. And then just finally on Friday, we'll get more data from the US where we'll get uh, consumption data. We'll also get inflation and sentiment data as well as income data. So a big day for a big week ahead and we'll keep you up to date throughout the week. Thank you for listening and we'll see you tomorrow. Subscribing to the True Potential YouTube channel is quick and easy. Simply go to the channel on your desktop or through the YouTube app on your phone and click the subscribe button. You can then press the notification bell symbol if you wish to be notified as and when new videos are released. Doing this is a great way to keep yourself updated with market developments and personal finance insights. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed and we look forward to continuing to help you do more with your money.